Okay, today I would like to talk about um, the difference between the two types of metamorphosis. There is complete metamorphosis, which is the one that you're normally used to. It's the one that the butterfly and a caterpillar goes through, where there are four distinct stages. First, the, the butterfly lays the eggs on the leaf, and then the um, organism inside the eggs grows and develops and eventually um, will hatch out of that egg, will eat its way out of it, will eat the whole egg up, then will eat, 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 like, uh, you know, uh, all the leaves in the area. And that's the larva stage. When it Once it comes out of the egg, it is now a larva. It's the caterpillar stage. And um, it's worm-like. And um, it begins to eat and eat and eat and eat and grow and eat and grow and eat and grow and eat. And then eventually a trigger will happen in the caterpillar and it will start to hang upside down from the leaf. As it gets too big for its exoskeleton, it will start to, after it attaches to the underside of the leaf, it will start to rip apart the exoskeleton. And when the exoskeleton comes off, it will actually reveal the chrysalis, which where there will be lots and lots of changes inside where the whole organism no longer even looks like a caterpillar anymore. When it comes out of of the chrysalis eventually, it will be the butterfly. It will have the wings, it will have fewer legs, it will have antenna, um, and then the whole thing will repeat again, okay? So the thing that makes it complete is there are four distinct stages, and each stage is very different than the one before it. When it's an egg, it just looks like an egg, a dot, a seed almost on, on the plant. Then when it emerges from the egg, it hatches from the egg. Now it's kind of, it's a caterpillar. It looks kind of like a worm. It no longer looks like the egg, the previous stage. And then if it goes into the, uh, it, the chrysalis is already forming underneath the exoskeleton. And that's the trigger that tells the caterpillar it needs to, you know, it stop eating for a while now and attach itself to the underside of the leaf and start to shed its exoskeleton. And then it'll reveal the chrysalis that's already inside the exoskeleton. Um, and then it will change and change and change. And then it goes to the fourth stage, which is a butterfly, which no longer looks anything like the caterpillar. So these stages are very different from one another, from beginning to end. You can't look at those, those um, eggs and know exactly what that butterfly is going to look like. That egg could be almost anything if you're just a regular person and you don't study bugs and leaves and things like that. You're going to see that egg on the leaf and you might know that it's going to be a butterfly, but maybe it's going to be another kind of bug. Who knows? And when you look at that caterpillar, it looks nothing like the butterfly or the egg. So the stages are very, very different. Complete metamorphosis. Okay, so now incomplete metamorphosis. That's the damselfly. That was the video I had you watch about the damselfly. Now the damselfly starts out by, you know, the parent laying an egg. This time it lays the egg in the water. Usually it lays it under the water. It will encapsulate itself in an air pocket and so it can breathe. And then it will go down the stalk of a plant and it will, in the stem, it'll make a little hole and it will lay its eggs inside the hole in the stalk of the stem of the plant that, the, that it's laid them on to protect them from things eating it. And as the um, damselfly starts to use up the air in that sack-like thing, um, more, it's a sheath, it's not really a sack. And um, more air from the water will 
kind of just the air part will come into the bubble so it's re not bubble it's not a bubble but it will um replace the air that's being used up by the damselfly until it's all done laying its egg then it will let go and that bubble or the sack or the sheath will start to float up to the top now that adult is very vulnerable any kind of trout swimming in the area might gulp it up and eat it because it's very weak because it's just done all that work of laying its eggs and it's kind of now it's wet its wings are wet so it just can't move as well but you know some of them survive some of them get eaten and lots more survive okay that's how nature is so now these eggs are inside uh the stem of that plant and eventually they will hatch and what hatches looks very much like what the end product is going to be like unlike the butterfly that caterpillar looks nothing like the butterfly that it's going to turn into might be the same colors sometimes um but it a caterpillar looks way different than a butterfly and with the damselfly it's going to be a little mini damsel fly it's going to be an it's going to have some of the stuff that's different from the adult because it has to live in water for a while and it lives in the water for about a year so it's called the nymph then and what happens is the nymph for a while will keep its gills so that it can breathe in the air and it will eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and, eat. and then some sort of as it grows something will trigger the change and it will start to lose its gills so that it can live on land and it will swim like crazy when it when the time has come it will swim like crazy to get on land so it can breathe the air and it no longer is a nymph anymore and it's going to come out and it's going to attach itself to a leaf and its wings are going to start to dry out and fill up with fluid and they, ha they have to dry and they're very vulnerable they can get eaten by birds or other insects or I don't know, maybe even lizards or something like that. So um, what nature has done to protect it so that it its species won't die out is they're all kind of in sync with one another. So there's like a season where many, 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 many of these damselflies will come out of the water at the same time. And um, just by the sheer fact that there's so many of them, it ensures that the, the species will continue. Some will get eaten, but lots more will survive. And that's how, it, how nature has protected the species so it doesn't become extinct. Now, the difference is every step along the way, it will, it will shed, this nymph will shed its uh, exoskeleton and get a new one and it, this will happen over and over again but it always is going to kind of look like the stage before it there's subtle little differences between this the um the different molting that goes on between in the um in the damselfly stage as a nymph but it looks a lot like it will when it's a grown-up and we call that incomplete metamorphosis when all of the stages Every time it develops into a new stage, it still kind of looks like the one before it and after it. Subtle little differences as opposed to complete metamorphosis like we saw with the butterfly and the caterpillar. Those, the egg, the caterpillar, the butterfly look nothing like each other. They're very, very different in appearance. With the damselfly, once it hatches, it looks like a smaller version of the grown-up. It doesn't look like a completely different organism the way a caterpillar would look like. It's a completely different organism than the butterfly.